Hello, hi, this is Sundar Bharat. I am here to explain how to create a Metro style application in on Windows 8. Come to the Windows 8, uh, Microsoft has created a new kind of uh, API which is called WinRT. Uh, using those API, we are going to create uh, different applications which is really amazing applications which you can see. Uh, it comes to the start windows when you can see this way it's amazing so to create those kind of applications we can uh, use different languages in in windows 8 uh, ap application metro style applications we have the first thing is javascript c sharp and vb so first thing we will see javascript application how to write a javascript application in a metro style so first thing we'll go we'll see how to write it so create a new app cl click on the new project and you can see javascript in the and uh, one thing it's a uh, microsoft is introduced uh mm, framework 4.5 beta and not only that they introduced visual studio 2011 beta ultimate so we can go for uh, we can go to visual studio site and you can download beta it's uh can install it in the Windows 8 and create the start creating the applications. Okay, now forget click on new project and you can see the Windows Metro style. See, and let's say select the JavaScript and you can see Windows Metro style and click on the blank application. I'll just name it as a, a demo app demo metro app. So it's it creates a project let's take some time and it shows the diag generally it shows a different kind of stuff but in this area it directly shows default dot js okay in in the javascript file you can create the user interface in a html format you can use html5 html5 to create the user interface you can see the doc type is html5 so if you execute this applications you can see the simple metro style which is covered entire screen of your desktop you see complete screen the desktop is a complete screen okay so if I close this application if I go here you see it creates a demo metro app icon okay so if you want to if you click on this one again and it will open the content uh, sorry uh, the same application which is which I created right now so that's how it works and if you want to change the um, logo and the splash screens and all create sorry you can see the package dot app x manifest okay if you go click on that if you double click on it it will open the file okay you can see what kind of application ui you need so you can see the landscape portrait landscape fill and portrait flop flip sorry flip okay so here you can see the display name if you want to change the display name you can change uh, my metro app you can go for it you want to change that one okay so you can see the different logos in this area if you want to change the logo you can go for it and you can see the splash screen you can change it in this area so you can see it's a ratio re required size is 620 by 300 megapixels so create those kind of i mean your use photoshop and create your own splash screens and you can put in this area okay so if you want to change the background color so it's your wish if you want to change i'll put white okay it's a so save it and if you run this one now you install you see the black screen now you can see the white screen now it's obviously it's a so theme is a black one so that it, it shows the black screen so you want to change the theme i'll, I'll show you how to change that one and uh, you see the this one is changed as a metro app okay that's cool now I'll go to again I'll go for and how to create uh, simple things in this area so, okay 
but uh, I'll create a message box which displays the message whenever you click on the button it shows the message okay so I'll simply write the I'll create one div okay and uh, style equals to width where it's I'll say 500 pixel okay and uh, margin 0 com okay. 100 pixel pixel and uh, the rest of the things are auto and the next one is text align I don't want to do that it's okay I'll just go with that one okay so I'll say create label that's so I'll first I'll create the button later we'll part we'll see okay button and uh, ID equals to btn click I'll say okay click me okay so simply you can see if you run it you can see the simply let's see the different thing okay see you can see the button in this area if you want to if you want to display in the center simply write in this area so text align center it, as it's a very easy to create a user inter interface in a JavaScript programming like uh, in a meta style JavaScript programming like it's a very easy like you, if you know the HTML you can easily write the application okay now in this area you have a dark in there so I'll go for um, sorry about that uh, so we have uh, I forgot that okay so we have a uh, different kind of references in this area in the Microsoft library we have a uh, different light and dark in this area so I'll I'll choose light okay so simply I go here Just gonna drag this one out. Okay, so simply remove this one. Okay. So now, if you run it, I can see the different kind of style. Okay, see, it changed the black screen is changed, and uh, and uh, this guy, uh, the click me button is changed, and the font thing is changed. Everything is changed. Okay. Now now come to the next one uh, I need to write a message box which is I click on the click me and it has to show a message now where do I write that message uh, I generally I write the message in like this on click on click and here I write a lot of sorry in this I say simply write Welcome to Windows 8. But the thing is, it doesn't accept that one. So if you execute this one, it's a it's a Win 8 RT. It's not. It's not. You are not running on a web browser, right? It's you are running on the web. It's not. It's not a web interface. It's an application. So Windows 8 created a different kind of API for JavaScript. So here you see whenever you whenever you whenever you open this you can see the JS folder and in this JS folder you have a JS file. Here you see app on activator. Okay, so in this function you have to declare the event of the particular button. For example, I go here and write BTN. Say okay, click dot event handler event listener equals to sorry string type I'll say click and where it has to take when you click okay so I write simply write the function which is called DLG okay message box is my function so I'll just gonna copy this one I'll create the function after my app is start so here I write function 
and paste okay i write the dlg message box function in this area so what has to do whenever i click click the button so it has to display some kind of message it's a alert box okay so what we do is it's a simple we write uh, msg box equals to i say new windows dot ui dot here we have a things called pop-ups okay so this is the windows api which when microsoft is provided to us so using those api we create as many as as things we want so simply to create the message box we go for this way okay so in this pop-ups we have a different kind of things and i'll say message dialog in this it's asking for the content string content so i'll simply say welcome i'll say hello well okay hello world and here i'll say i'll give the title as well you see it's, it has a title as well so i'll say welcome to windows 8 and i'll give the title okay so now now how i need to display this message whenever i click on the button so here i have a simplest function which has to show it which uh, so message box dot show sync is the function which you can see the whenever you click on the button it, it executes that function and it shows the alert and I run this application and you can see clicking it whenever you click it you see this is the meta style message box amazing is it so you can see easily you can see it's a close if you want to create another command in there so you can easily write the command as well it's the simplest way to write the command in, in this you know so you can write message box dot commands dot append okay so new it's the same way you can use the windows dot ui dot pop-ups dot command sorry ui command of what kind of command you can create in this area so you can you can just go for what kind of action you need to know you need to add in this area i say okay so I'll say okay comma and the pop-ups action whatever you want to action so I'll see you can write this directly function okay so I can you can create the pump function so okay so if I run this one yeah whenever I click on CC instead of close you can see okay so how many things you want to add in this area you can add as many functions as you want okay so not only so you can just put the you know uh, comma sorry comma and you can write one more t value if you want it's new windows star sorry okay just like that sorry about okay this is how you write the first application okay we'll see the next things uh, next thing like if you want to uh, for example if I want to place a text box like uh, I'll say label uh, for label for is equals to txt name name and I'll go here enter your name okay I'll say enter your name and in this area I'll say label sorry sorry input a type is equals to text okay at the ID is equals to txt name okay so it's a very easy okay so I created the text box in there I'll say just simply say we are get break in this area so can see um, if I go to the JS 
I'm sorry a JS page default.js page in this area I will create the simplest thing which is um, I'll say var name is equals to I'm gonna simply access you know my text name dot value in this area I'll simply write instead of word I'll say hello name so if I write here I click on this you see it shows this way you can see these are the styles which is already defined by the windows so that you can see this kind of uh, uh, simple and uh, style cascading uh, simple styled UI okay these are this is the represents the metro UI okay it's a it, the square shape text box square shape buttons and it, uh, you can see the mouse over events and all okay so this is this is how it, you can see the exact things okay so I'll say Suri so if I click on this you see hello Suri welcome to the Windows 8 so that's how you create the simple as a it's a very easy to create application you can see that this kind of stuff and you see this one is the if you run that application it automatically goes to the application you no need to worry about to de debug again and again okay so if you already debugged and you can just click on it and it will you can see the application okay that's it and thanks for watching bye uh, if you have any doubts please comment and i'll i'll give the answers what i have okay thank you very much bye